Hey guys, welcome back. This is Matt from Nod Studios here, and today we're going to be checking out another indie horror game that I found on Itch.io. This one is called Exiles, and I haven't looked at any of the screenshots or any of the information whatsoever, so I am going into this completely blind. However, I did read that this project is a one-man project, so only a single person is working on this, and... I just want you to take that into consideration when you're watching the video and drawing your judgments about the game. Now without any more lollygagging, let's go ahead and start a new game here and throw ourselves into the game. Ooh, okay, here we are. Now this game is made, I think, in the Unity engine, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw a Unity player when I opened up the folder to this game. Okay, so we got a medicine cabinet over here. What's that? Munich? Psycho? You mean from, like, Fallout? Yo, that, is that what that is? Psycho? Is that an actual drug? Nah. Cyropex? You got some Zans back there? Where's the weed? You got some weed? Is there weed in that pill bottle right there? Anywho, let's go ahead and open up this door. Wait. What? Why did my... Whoa. I can... Hey! Hey! Anyways, let's go ahead. Why can I not... Oh, because we have to hit the F button. Okay, so you don't click to open things up. You press the F button. And wow, I am... I gotta say, guys, I am very surprised by these graphics right now. If this is a one-man project and the graphics look this good... Oh my lord, man, you did a good job. So it looks like both of those doors are jammed, unfortunately. <sighs> Another long corridor. Hey, it's one of those cart thingies. Can I run and jump on it and slide down the hallway? Aw, oh, no, I can't. I can't jump at all. Wait, what was that, though? Was that my stamina bar? Wow, there's even a stamina bar. Okay. Are both of these doors locked? Yes, they are. Well, they're not locked. They're jammed. My bad. Got me on a technicality there. Come on. None of these are open, are they? I, sh I just shouldn't even bother, honestly. What about the elevator? Yeah, I wouldn't want to go in that metal death trap anyways. <laughs> that thing looks a little bit battered, if I do say so myself. What we got over here? That's a light. Jammed. Okay, so I see some stairs leading downstairs. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> There's some stairs leading down. Okay, okay, okay. let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's peek around the corner. Do a little bit. Hello? Is anybody home? No, I don't think they are. Oh, God! Okay, they are! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Why is there blood there? Do I dare go down that set of stairs? Okay, well, let's take a look at the area back here. More blood stains. Fault. You need a card and start card system to open this door. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, is this an open door or is that just a doorway? Okay. Who's there? I heard you screaming. I mean, if you need some help, I'm always willing to help. I mean, I'm a nice guy. But, uh, if it's a monster, <laughs> I'm yeeting out of here. Okay, so those are both jammed. Oh, that's not jammed. Okay, well, it looks like he's been dead for a while, so that's good. <laughs> um, oh, he's got a machete that I can pick up. Can I pick it up? Oh, yeah, okay. We can. Now, how do I equip it, though? Ooh, I have a little toolbar. <laughs> wait, hold up. Let's do that again. <laughs> wait, 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 let's hit him on the crotch. I've got balls of steel. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. 
Anywho, leaving this, uh, dilapidated, disgusting body here, let's move on and see if there's any other useful items in here for us to grab. There's a key file room right here. Okay. I think that's about it for this room. Unless there's something in the cabinets over here. Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. Okay. So I suppose we have to head back maybe... Uh, oh, wait, yeah, we have the key. What am I talking about? Well, let's check downstairs. What's this? Ah, uh, another door that requires a key card. Okay. We're gonna make our descent here. Wish me luck. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that one SCP game where you just go down the stairs. And you just keep going downstairs. And the SCP is literally an endless labyrinth of freaking stairs. I mean, you can eventually beat the game, I think. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's SCP-087. That game is actually very terrifying. <laughs> okay, so we have an elevator here that is open. We're on the third floor down? Or the third floor... Third floor up? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we can actually do anything with this, though. Well, that is freaking bunk. Ooh, but we can do something with this little voltage box over here. No, we can't. <laughs> we need a fuse in order to restore the energy. Okay, so let's see. Slot 1, card system. Slot 2, elevator energy. Slot 1? Slot 2? What? Okay, so now we're back upstairs. And if I can remember correctly, it was actually this door right here. So now we have the key, we can open it up, head on inside. Okay. Ooh, a key card. Level two, nice. And the fuse. Wow, things are going out great for us. Everything's in one centralized location. Hey, what happened to all the Xanax? Someone came in here and robbed all the Xanax. How did they do that? It was locked. Yeah, I was saving that batch for myself. Probably was Alfred. He always takes it on me. He's a greedy little dirtbag. So let's go ahead and throw that fuse into the voltage box over here. Now the card system has been restored. And the elevator... Wait. Wait, what? So we can switch between elevator energy or card system energy. Well, let's go ahead and take the elevator first, because it's right here. Oh, we got a little cutscene. Hello? Where are we? Are we in the basement? Okay, even if this is the basement, this is a messed up basement. Like, y'all need to do some interior decoration, because that's bad. Like, put some paintings up or something, at least, please. Man, I feel like I'm doing an er <laughs> I feel like I'm doing an urban exploration right now. Oh. Oh. Doors jammed. Was that someone's heart? Did someone just have a heart attack? <laughs> Did y'all hear that? That was like a palpitation. This dude <laughs> He dropped out right there, man. Got a window. I can't see out of it. Why you got the windows tinted up so dark? Head upstairs. Man, there's so much dust in this area. Kind of makes me feel like I'm swimming around. Okay. So It's alright. Nothing to worry about. Just a nice, cute little doggy. Not a German Shepherd or anything like that. I hope. <laughs> oh, boy. Why are you... Um, <laughs> why are you, <laughs> hello, are you, you just gonna stand there, oh yeah, you're really scaring me with that music, wow, this is terrifying, this is just such an intense encounter, I, I honestly, I can't handle it, guys, my heart, oh, anyways, let's just go ahead and kill this dude, bop.
Bop. Uh, are you gonna... You can die now. That... <laughs> what just happened? He just flopped around like a freaking donut, man. Well, not that donuts really... F okay, that didn't make any sense. Let's head up the stairs here onto this little patio area. Ooh, it kind of looks like there was a doorway here before. Or maybe a fireplace. I don't know. It just looks like a doorway belongs here, you know? Is that it? Is there nothing up here? Oh, there's these doors. Oh, that was a door on the other side. I thought that was a window. Well, let's check this one. Yeah, nah, they're both jammed. What about the way that that guy came from? Is that open? I mean, he came from that direction, so maybe? Yeah, no luck. I guess he was just standing there. He appears to be one of the patients here, though. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe this is like a mental asylum or something like that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to head back upstairs. There isn't really anything in that room for us. At least, you know, not for right now. Okay, so I made my way back to the voltage meter right here. So I'm just going to switch it over to the card system. Then let's head upstairs. And there was a, uh, a key carded door on this floor. I think there was actually one right over here. Yeah, there is. So let's see if we can't get through this with our level 2 ID card. Oh, sweet. We can. It's a little bit dark, though. Oh, boy. I see a light on in that room. And it appears that we can open it because there's another one of those key card majuglies. Ooh. Okay, I see an open drawer. I'm heading towards it. A Glock? Okay, we're stepping things up a little bit. I like it. Looks like it came loaded with a magazine already. 14 ammunitions in the clip. And we have a spare clip as well. Another open drawer. Anything in there? Nope. Is that honestly it for this room? Can we go back here? Nope. Hmm. Alright, well I guess that's it for this area. Unless there's something in there. Nope. Can we open up the door over here? It's probably going to be jammed, right? Yep, jammed. You gotta be joking me, right? There was a bedroom key down here, and I completely overlooked it. Oh, I literally spent maybe 10, 15 minutes running around the entire map. I'm like, what did I forget to do? What didn't I do? And there was a key right there to the room that we needed to open. Wow. Okay, anyways, so let's head back to that one room and see if this key will unlock it. Now, hopefully it should. Whoa, what's that? Painting? A picture, actually, rather. There's a dude there, though. Like, hanging off of some scaffolding. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at that. Okay, we don't need to dwell on that negativity. Let's open this door. Hello? <gasps> Move it, I'll shoot ya! Oi! Okay, I see you can make scary noises happen, so I should probably try and appease you. What's this? Oh, card level three. Okay, so this is the card that we need to open up that one door that we couldn't get through before. Wait, is there something like chasing us now? Why is this music super intense? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. I don't know why you needed that like super ominous music just for me to walk in that room and pick up that card, but okay. And here we are, the moment of truth we've all been waiting for. There's... wait. Wait, is that a dead end? Wait, no, 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 no. Am I seeing that? I'm seeing that right. My eyes are good eyes. 
I really don't want to go in there, guys. I feel like this is a trap. I'm going to walk in there. This door is going to close behind me, and there's going to be nowhere to go. Oh. Oh, that was it. Okay, you're not going to give me a jump scare then? Wow. I was expecting a jump scare just because you had the dead end there. I thought, you know, maybe the door would have closed and you would have had, like, some guy run up to the door and be, like, banging on it and show his head through the, you know, little uh, window area. I don't know. Something crazy like that, but it just didn't happen. I do have to say, though, I did very much enjoy this little demo. The visuals for the game are very good, especially when you consider the fact that only one person made them. The atmosphere was also on point. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one off here. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. Also, if you have some more spare time, please be sure to check out the other horror games that I've played through. I'll be sure to include an informational card in the top right of the video so you guys can go ahead and check out all those videos that I've made previously. Once again, thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.